tonight on Kitchen Nightmares. The place is littered with Jeff Ramsey makes his first visit to Colorado and is faced with a restaurant that hasn't changed anything in 33 years. This place feels like it's been closed for the last 10 years. It's a look that the restaurant has. The owner who runs the front of house wow. is an out of control hoarder. Does it work? No. And to make matters worse, the owner who runs the kitchen is completely clueless. You cross-contaminated every ounce of ingredients in this kitchen. It's one of the most shocking and filthiest restaurants Chef Ramsay has ever seen. Disgusting, deplorable mess. And you will not believe what he uncovers. Stinks. In the dining room. Wow. In the office. Gross. In the kitchen. You are kidding me. And in the entranceway. Ooh, careful, she's slippery. While the decor is horrid, this is a horror show. The food is wretched. I wouldn't feed that to the mannequin. And unbelievably, the husband and wife owners have no idea why their business is failing. A lot of people enjoy the things that we cook. The food is hideous. Get ready to witness. I'm not actually too sure what to do. One of the most difficult challenges of Chef Ramsay's career. Maybe we should just close it down and lose everything we have. What is that? Serving rotten food. They're not crap, and they're delicious. They wake up! You wake up! <coughs> Shut the place down! Get out of here! That is amazing! That's embarrassing! Thank you so much. Arvada, Colorado, 15 minutes from Denver, is home to the old neighborhood restaurant. Owners Alexa and Randy met when they were servers during their college years. They fulfilled a dream when they bought the eatery in 1988. Almost ready? Ready as ever. My wife and I have owned the restaurant for 25 years, and we're here all the time together. Thank you, Randy. Thank you very much. Just trying to do my job. The business has been declining for probably about 13 years. What else is coming back? You have all the tickets that you're going to have, I believe. Just go. I don't need to hear. Go, please, off the line. But the last three months have been really, really hard, and we don't know really why. How are we all doing this evening? I don't know what you put in this steak, but it's even a terrible aftertaste. I don't think there is a menu in the country that is even close to ours. It just doesn't look good. So it's uh, tempura, but why would you put horse fried in there? We have things like a Sedona chicken. We have teriyaki steak. We have beef wontons. We also have trout parmesan burritos, Cajun catfish, duck schnitzel. It's really weird. And it's not only the menu that's out of control, it's the decor. Welcome to Grandma's house. It's definitely about 40 years out of date. My father doesn't throw anything away. He's definitely the epitome of a hoarder. Everything in here is decrepit. Wallpaper is falling off the wall. Half of the chairs are broken. So it's like sometimes when people sit down, they just go down. <laughs> you lost the wheel over there? Yeah. Seriously, look. I think Randy and Alexa are just kind of stuck in their old ways. I don't think that they're willing to really change a whole lot of things. They haven't done much in the past 30 years. My wife and I are in debt to the tune of about $320,000. If the stress doesn't subside somewhere, something drastic is going to give. Us, our relationship, this restaurant, we can't keep going like this. Wow, old neighborhood restaurant. Even the sign looks old. Wow. Ooh. Kidding me? Strange. Good afternoon. How are you, sir? Randy. Randy Gordon, good to see you. Chef, nice to meet you. Likewise, sad good. to be here. Uh, what is this? What is this? This thing here. Fiona? Who is, who is this? Fiona. It has a name? She has a name, yes. Come on, seriously? It's not a it, it's a she. Wow. She changes outfits regularly. Careful, she's slippery. No disrespect, but you walk into a restaurant, you don't expect to see a, a, a mannequin there. Uh, it's kind of my wife's thing. 
And these? Well, you know, somebody stole her hands. Oh. She's delicate. So this is not a joke. This is something that your wife looks after, her mannequin. She does. OK. We have pictures of people with Fiona. Uh... OK, right. Uh, well, why don't you get your dear wife, and then we have a catch-up together, right? I'll put this thing back. Sure. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> Man, this is really weird. My God. Jeff broke Fiona. He wants you to come out here. Oh, no. You are kidding me. Damn. Hello. I'm Alexa. Alexa, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Um, let's sit down at the bar, shall we? Absolutely. Sure. And catch up. Um, I thought Randy was winding me up because he said that that doll in the window is, uh, is it like a friend of yours? Yeah, she has had a couple of rides in the convertible when I've tried to take her home and put her at peace in the garage, and I had to go run an errand for her, so. This doll. OK. Uh, you've had this place for how long? 25 years that we've 25 owned years. It. We both worked here as servers when we were college students at the University uh, of Colorado. Nice. My uh, oldest one, Wiley, works here part time. OK, great. So in a nutshell, um, describe the food for me. Traditional American. OK. How often does it change, the menu? It hasn't in a very Once a year. long time. When was the last too. time you changed the lunch menu? The lunch menu, several years. When does the menu change? Every three months, every six months? No, more like eight months to a year. Eight months to a year? Once a year. Once a year. And when was the last big change? Two and a half years ago. No, Randy, have you any idea how bad this sounds? OK, so in 33 years, the menu has changed not many times, but it has. OK, uh, right, more importantly, um, what's wrong with the place? It's been a real struggle to even stay open, but I don't think we'd survive 33 years, especially without too much change, unless the food was good. Good. Glad to hear it. Um, I'm dying to eat. Where should I sit? Wherever you'd like. What's all that stuff up there? Antiques. Antiques. Wow. Randy's hoarding. Well, he's got some serious decor issues. The antique stuff and everything, it needs to come down. It looks like a pile of junk. Right. Lexa, I'm going to eat. Let me have a good look at the menu, and I'll, okay. I'll look forward to catching up with you later. Thank you both. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? First name is? Kristen. Kristen, good to see you. I'll be your server today. OK, great. Um, wow, everything's so dated. It is. I mean, has anything changed in there? No, it's. I don't think anything has changed since they took over. Wow. I walked in, there was a dreadful smell, all musty, stinky. It's musty. And where's that smell coming? Is it these antiques? Um, I don't know if it's the antiques, if it's the old upholstery. If you sit in one of these booths, um, it smells like someone that hasn't showered in a while. I'm serious? Yeah, I'm serious. What, like someone's... Go ahead and smell it. Someone's like, like, like B.O.? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. When I have to set the tables, I smell it all the time. So. They stink. It, they, it smells really bad. Uh, have they been reupholstered? No, I think this is the original upholstery from 1980. That's a lot of farts in these chairs. <laughs> Man. And what's with the wheels on the chairs? Um, because it's carpet, I think they think it's convenient. Because. <laughs> 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 um, this is the menu. That is the lunch menu, yeah. Look at the state of it. And I had to pick you out the best one. That's the best one? Yeah, that's the best one I could find. Wow. And this is yeah. the... This is the dinner menu. The dinner menu. Yep. Wow. Brion crude. French onion soup. Wow. New Orleans barbecue shrimp. Cajun catfish. Mushroom tempura. Beef wontons. We've gone from French to New Orleans to Asian. Wow. Italian. Flies. Flies everywhere. Where are they coming from? That fly won't leave you alone. <laughs> Man. Anyway, shall I order? Okay. Uh, let's go for the New Orleans barbecue shrimp. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the Yucatan sea scallops. Okay. And is there a salmon special today? The salmon special today is baked with a dill Dijon cream sauce. Okay. Yeah. Let's go for that as well. Okay, darling. I think we're done for now. We'll turn those into Alexa. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.
Order's in. We bring it on. How are you? My name is Wiley. Wiley, you say, oh, the son? The son, yes. Okay, great. How long have you been here? I've been here about 10 years. What do you think the big problem in the restaurant is? I think the big problem is the, the decor. Have you ever tried to take some of this junk down? Oh, I'm afraid to. I'm afraid of what my father might really? do if I tried to take something down. Why? Yeah. He's kept it up here for 30 years. Yeah, but is it worth anything? I doubt it. It's like a garage sale that you're mm. staring at, eating it. Oh, yeah. Well, good to meet you, but definitely. Thank you. It's great to meet you. Likewise, good to see you, too. You, too. Here's your barbecue shrimp. All right. My dishes are excellent, and if Chef Ramsay doesn't like any of my cooking, it will piss me off. Oh, this barbecue is Barbecue shrimp. Barbecue shrimp. Mm-hmm. There's a very strange-looking barbecue sauce. It's a cream barbecue cream sauce. Uh, Cage barbecue cream, cream sauce. sauce. What's the color of that? Is that is the, is the shrimp barbecue, or is it the sauce that's barbecued? It's the barbecue sauce. Oh, I see. And why would you sort of coat the lemon in cream? It's a collateral damage. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. You're welcome. Ah. <laughs> Mate, I wouldn't feed that to the mannequin. Even she'd manage to throw that up. That sauce is hideous, and the shrimp was tough as old boots. And the flies are landing on me as opposed to on the shrimp. The look on your face doesn't look good. No. Got a really weird texture. When a fly bypasses the as you know is bad. <laughs> Trust me. Um, I'm, I'm done with that. Thank okay. you, Danny. Thanks, Danny. Jeez. So what do you say about those? Um, it has a weird texture to the sauce. He doesn't know why it would be called barbecue. People have been coming here for 33 years. The food cannot be that bad. Oh. This is your salmon. Wow. This is the special. Yes, uh -huh. the dill Dijon cream sauce. The dill Dijon cream sauce. Somebody likes mm -hmm. cream in the kitchen. Who is that? Where do all these cream sauces come from? I don't know who originally started them, but Alexa cooks with a lot of cream. Wow. Everything's made with heavy cream. Ay, ay, ay. We have, oh, there's a the salmon under there. Damn, what cream sauce. Mm hmm. Thank you, Ryan. You're welcome. Salmon tastes frozen. It doesn't taste fresh at all. It's dry, very dry. Wow. I mean, it's very old school. Cream on cream on cream. Well, thank you, my darling. You're um, very welcome. Yeah, that wasn't pleasant. All right, I'll let yeah. them know. That was hideous. He says the salmon tastes dry. What? Come on, really? He said cream again. And yeah, well, everything he ordered has cream, but. I know. Wow, and, I would think people um, would know what they're ordering before they did it, but that's whatever. I think everything is delicious. I wouldn't serve it if I didn't think it was delicious. There goes another one. God, oh, that wallpaper. It's terrible. What a mess. Randy, when was the last time we had a coat of paint or I changed the wallpaper? When was the last time? Last wallpaper, five years ago. This, this wallpaper is five years ago? No, not this one. Can I show you something? Sure. Please. What's all this here for? And this here? Disrepair. And you pull that table out and you just see all that mark in there across the wall like that. I mean, this place looks and feels like it's been closed for the last 10 years. It's the look that the restaurant has. Well, hopefully, before the week is finished, I'll get a straight answer. Here is your Yucatan scallops. Oh, here it sir. is. Here he is, Wiley. There you go, Chef. The man. And where are the scallops? Inside in the dish. that oh. boat. Inside Underneath the, in the peppers bones. and, yes. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. It is absolutely gross. Wow. Dread. No seasoning whatsoever. And the scallops are just hideous. I've got to find out why this is called Yucatan, because I don't want to insult those people in Mexico. Randy. Um, I'd like to find out why it's called the Yucatan sea scallop dish. What, what's the relation? The spice with the chipotle peppers. So why is it called Yucatan? Because it's got spice in it. Just the name. You, you just pick the name out of the hat? It bears no relevance to the actual... If it does or doesn't, I'm not actually 100% sure. 
Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm done with that. Thank you. That was gross. Scallops are overdone and the sauce is bland. That's the way I've been cooking them. They look beautiful. They were cooked perfectly. I know they were. I'm getting irritated. I like it. It's an absolute matter of taste. This is just stupid. That's the way we cook. That's. That's. It wasn't an off day. <laughs> After sampling some unusual and disgusting food... It's got a really weird texture. ...while sitting in a musty, bug-filled dining room... Flies everywhere. Where are they coming from? Chef Ramsay wants to have a little chat with head chef and owner Alexa and her kitchen staff. I'm going to get straight to the point. I'm seriously concerned. Um, the New Orleans barbecued shrimp. I've never known a barbecue cream sauce anywhere. Yucatan sea scallops, no seasoning. The scallops were meeky, bland, and actually whiter than the actual cream sauce. Do you hear, taste anything you're cooking? I didn't see anything seasoned. I'm sorry, I have a lot of pride in it. I cooked everything there. And I really, you know, a lot of people enjoy the things that we cook. Right. I'm not asking about your pride. The question I asked was, does anyone taste yes. as they cook? So all my food... I didn't What's taste your... your food. You didn't taste my food? No, but I cook that food all the time. I don't know. Oh, so it's just automatic. Push the button and we're cooking that. So you don't think anything needs seasoning? I thought I was making good food. I don't know why. The food is dated. The decor is hideous. And you sit customers in front of a wall with dilapidated wallpaper, peeling off. You better take a good look at yourself and maybe dust yourself down. Shake it off. <laughs> freak in the corner there. Man. Stop. Let's go get ready for dinner. Word has spread that Chef Ramsay is in town. And the restaurant that is normally not very busy... Right this way. ...is booked. For you, sir. For the uh, chicken cordelline. OK. Tonight, Chef Ramsay will continue to examine the dysfunctional workings of this restaurant. Uh, jeez. What's all this here for? Hello, Chef. Does anyone actually sit down here? They do, yes. They do, yeah. And when you, uh, when they sit on this. Do you not think this looks drab? I don't have a better one. You don't have a better one? How about nothing? What is that? Wow. Merry Christmas. What is this? I mean, honestly. When was this cleaned? Not for a long time, sir. You are in charge of front of the house, right? I am. Oh, my God. There you go. That's your car. The Joker. How fitting is that? <sighs> How old is this chair? 20 years. 20 years? 20 years. What kind of message does it send when you have this in the middle of the dining room? I mean, that does look like it's gone past its sell-by date, right? Yes. When was the last time it was cleaned? I would say a couple years ago. Oh, my God. Have you seen down there? Yes. And that's acceptable for you? That's not clean, sir, no. Oh, my God. You are kidding me. Oh, no, what is that? Looks like a comb. Looks like a comb. Oh, come on, Randy. Do you think this is funny in front of the customers? Not at all. The crumbs and the down there. You're not putting it back there, are you? No, I'll take it out there. Get it to help me. I'll wash my fucking hands. I wasn't totally flabbergasted. The trash fell out of somebody's pocket. Somebody didn't see it was there. You know, I don't feel that bad about that. Well, covered in dust. Oh, my God. What a mess. It's like rat droppings everywhere. God. Oh. This is shocking. Keep your dirty shoes under the bonquette. They're not mine. Did the customer die? Look at you, there's holes in the sole. 
Dirty, crusty shoes. Oh, I've got to wash my hands again. Man. OK, onion rings. Should we fix those, or are they already out? What's that? It's from the steam table. It's like a river running through here. God, look at the state of this stove. How old is that stove? 33 years old. Wow, I mean, I know the restaurant's cool, the old neighborhood, but like, the kitchen's an old, dilapidated neighborhood, yeah? What is that? Is that your... Wow. You are kidding me. He sticks it in the prime rib, and he sticks it back in there. What's that spray? Hand coating so it doesn't stick. A canned coating? Yes. Wow. My mother's definitely lost her high standards over the last 15, 20 years. Here you go, Brandy. I know she cares for this place, but the passion and the fire that I've seen in her before is no longer there. Hey, filet, filet, lamb chops. I probably burned them. Son of a bitch. What is this in here? This is the office. Wow. How can anyone work in this mess? Jerry, it doesn't make sense. What the hell? What? Why is all this junk? Old equipment. What's it here for? Parts once in a while. Parts? So what parts do you take from a 1950s ice machine? Legs. Legs? And what's this? Oh, uh, it's a microwave. Does it work? Uh, no. So what can you take from that, then? I don't know. Wow, look at the mess. It's like you're hoarding stuff. Chef Ramsay must think I'm a lunatic for having that stuff sitting back there. But I don't really think that I'm a hoarder. It's just hard for me to throw things away. What's that noise coming from? Something doesn't sound right in there. Oh, the mice here. Next to cleaning equipment. How long has that been there? I don't know. It was not in there yesterday. So it died early hours this morning. That dry? Can we come out of there? That. That died a lot longer than 24 hours ago. Matt, take over from Alexa for one minute, please. I got it. Have you seen that out here? I know. He has a problem with throwing away, clearly. And are you OK with this, though? No. You're not? No, it needs to go. This is ridiculous. I'm trying to wow. get him slowly to get rid of it and to change his ways. But he doesn't listen. It's a problem. Okay, it's a big issue. You're, you're enabling a hoarder. You're right. It is a problem. It's a hoarder. I agree. And that as an office in there? It's a, a, it's a travesty, absolutely. Horrendous. I just gotta wash my hands. That's all I've done for the last 20 minutes is wash my fucking hands. While it is clear to Chef Ramsay that Randy is a hoarder. What's wrong with that, Kristen? The baked potato is foaming because there's so much butter on it with the sour cream. Nice. It's also becoming evident that customers are as disappointed with their food as he was earlier today at lunch. The split top came back. He says it was tough. That's ridiculous. I know. He didn't like the potato cake either. <laughs> Now he decides to see what is lurking in the walk-in fridge. What is that? My God, it stinks. That's gone off. Your chicken and cooked meat. I am not impressed. They have broken every cardinal rule. It's barely an hour into dinner service at the old neighborhood. Ah! The restaurant is already full of unhappy customers. The baked potato is foaming because there's so much butter on it with the sour cream. Gross. And Chef Ramsay has not only made some shocking discoveries in the dining room. Oh, my God. But back in the kitchen, he has made some frightening discoveries as well. What is that? My God. That stinks. That's gone off. My God, that's disgusting. Oh, that is off as well. Salmon. And look, some dirty picked all the bones out and just left them on the side. What a way to run a fridge. That stinks. So the hoarding isn't just wash machines and microwaves, it's old food. Oh, look at the state of this. Dirty, dirty. Oh, wonderful. We survived it? Nope. What in the f is this? Mud pie on top of scallops. Man, this fridge is littered with 
This is a horror show. Randy, can you just get me legs, please? For two minutes. She's extremely busy yeah. now, well, but I'm, I'm extremely busy. I understand. Yeah. I'll get her. Uh, Wiley, can you stay with me two seconds? Yes. Glex, chef what? has to have you for a minute right now. Okay. When was the last time this walk-in fridge was cleaned? Uh, Monday. Monday. Can you just step over here two yeah. seconds? This is the dessert start preparation. It's got blood. It's disgusting. And these? Lamb chops. And what's this sat in? What is that? Water. Yeah, water. Dirty water, yeah. Dirty water, you're right. And this here, what is that? Fudge from the mud pie. Fudge from the mud pie. That sat on top of a leg of lamb that's dripping with blood. You with me? The place is littered with everywhere you turn. And for me, it was bad enough to see the crap in the dining room. I didn't expect that walking to be festering the way it is. Go and have a look in there now. Mostly walk in there. Molds. Crap. That was cleaned last week. Was not cleaned last week. And this here, can you see that up there? I can see that. Let's get out of it. Seriously? Just smell that. Look at the color of it and the congealed blood. And this? That's blood from the lamp. I've never ever seen a practice this bad. And then some dirty takes bones from the salmon and dumps them on the side. I did it. You did this. I was pulling them out. Yep, I did. And you put them back on there. I and you sat them there that. and I didn't put them away. Just touch the temperature of that. Just touch that. The big shock for me, hold the bone, is sat with this. You have raw chicken and cooked <laughs> meat. There's a theme here. This place is littered with junk. The chairs are caked in and the refrigeration walk-in is in disarray. I stepped one foot into your kitchen, and there was a hole in the wall where the meat thermometer gets taken out and stuck inside. There's a freezer there that's not even up to the tenth of a fridge, let alone a freezer. And you've got cooked meat, raw meat, and desserts glazed in half-cooked leg of lamb blood. This is criminal. You have cross-contaminated every ounce of ingredients in this kitchen. And you, 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 you see that. Who is hoarding all the We serve that You use that Wiley, get in there and stop any other entree leaving and shut it down. After witnessing one of the worst kitchens he has ever seen. Oh my god. This is a horror show. And stop any other entree leaving yes. and shut it down. Chef Ramsay knows he has to put an end to the madness. No more entrees. I'm sorry? Take their food away. Why? Because we're not serving anymore. We're about as dirty as a kitchen could be, and it's absolutely disgusting. We will not be serving any more food this evening. Ah. Oh. I'm extremely sorry. That's not good. I mean, this is so up. It's so ridiculous. The kitchen's infested. The office is a mess. And on your chairs that you tell me got cleaned years ago, a comb, a candy cane. I mean, old Kleenex used. People wiping the nose, sticking it down the side. You come and get clarity in there because you're so festering in crap everywhere. Both of you should be shamed. What did you say to me today? That I take pride in what I do. Where? I don't know. I am not proud right now. We got overwhelmed, and it's a, it's a, and it's a mess. And maybe we should just close it down and lose everything we have. Because that's probably what we're going to do. How can I help two individuals that don't even care about what they're doing? We do care. We care tremendously. So why didn't you do anything before I got here? We did. I can't tell you how many hours we cleaned. You cleaned before I got here? I threw out my clothes on Monday. I was so encased with grease. How long? How many hours? How many days? Five. 
What the? You just need to stop. What a mess. Come here. I love you. Sorry, it's gonna get better. I never thought my restaurant would be shut down. Can I have a quick word, please? Absolutely. Both here, outside. It's the worst moment of my life, undoubtedly. For the first time in a long time, I'm not actually too sure what to do. Right now, I want to get out of here. Please Good. don't. We could really use your help. The mistakes are so basic. We perhaps should not even be in the business. That's what I'm scared about. I think we can do this. We desperately need your help. You told me in there that you cleaned for five days before I got here. Didn't do any good. How do I know that you really get it and you really will commit to getting this place turned around? I can do whatever Begging you show you me. Stay and help I can us, do it. Please. I'll do whatever you want. We're not gonna let you down. Now it's your chance to prove it to yourselves and me. Show me. Okay, we Thank will. You. We will. the most mortifying thing I've ever lived through. And I have no excuses. It's my fault if something isn't right here. This is my restaurant. I have a lot of pride in it. I was shown too many things that I did not want to see. The problem is I'm the guy who's supposed to see it. Okay. We're not good at what we do. We're not even remotely good at what we do. We'll get better. A lot okay. better. We spent 24 years here. I don't want to close this place down filthy and dirty and not operating in a coffin. I don't want it to be a coffin. I want it to exist. I love you. Thank you, too. After one of the worst days that Chef Ramsay has ever experienced on Kitchen Nightmares, yeah, what a difference. he is pleased with the overnight cleaning done in the kitchen. Now it looks and smells like a proper kitchen. Good. But he has decided to take matters literally into his own hands in the dining room. OK, Lexi, how are you feeling? Very nervous. When I first came to the restaurant, I was overwhelmed with the clutter. Randy, your inability to get rid of junk sent a message to everyone that cleaning out was not necessary. And that has to end today. Come with me, please. Let's go. <gasps> oh, my gosh. That was your restaurant. That's a lot of trash. Today, it's a groundbreaking day, Randy, because you are going to get rid of this my husband has a hard time letting go of things, and it's easier to just store them and think about getting rid of them later, but that later time never came. You ready to do this? I want to keep the accordion. And Dr. Wiley's scalp treatment. That's got Wiley's name on it. What? Randy, whether you like it or not, right now, we're moving forward. I brought in this truck, either store or destroy. The majority of this stuff, you know damn well, is junk. Let's go. All right. Excellent. Follow on. Pick something for destruction. Everybody join in. Randy, no? I love it. Let's go. I've had that stuff for 30 years, and some stuff in there looked pretty good. Didn't really want to part with it. Randy, come around, Randy. Where's the button? I want you to do it. Which one? I'm throwing it away. I'm not going to get a dime for it. Oh, the tuba! Oh, oh the tuba! <laughs> oh. Yes, victory. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Oh, 
It's probably the greatest feeling in the entire world, having Randy actually throw things away. Let's go, guys. Oh, Nick, the microwave again. One, two, three. And honestly, I think he enjoyed it. I really think he did. Should I save the legs, Chef? You cannot save the legs. I think he turned a corner. Right, there's one more valuable piece. Oh, yes, piece. there is. Fiona, too? No, Chef. I know you guys are close. We're not that close. Are you sure now? I'm sure. I'm 150% sure. It's time. Go where you belong. Oh, everybody wave goodbye to Fiona. Oh. oh, she broke a million pieces. Maybe you have changed. I think so. I didn't think there was going to be any light at the end of the tunnel. But in the end, I feel like the world's off my shoulders with all that stuff being crushed in the truck. That is going to dive in the truck after. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'll be working on something in the kitchen I want to show you right now. Follow me, please. Let's go. So first of all, you'll notice how decluttered the kitchen is. <gasps> I've never, ever overhauled a kitchen to this extent. $65,000 worth of equipment. I don't know how you ever lasted a week working in this kitchen with such dreadful equipment. Wow. There's knobs. <laughs> There's more than knobs. I made a very urgent call to our friends at Cull Equip, and they came through last minute with brand new kitchen equipment. Take a look at this stunning range. A stunning rapid six ring gas burner from Thermotech. It's just amazing. Two full size ovens. Oh, I just want to cook something. Yeah. Now, stream right hand side is the Broaster Pressure Fryer. It's not just a fryer. Broaster chicken comes out great, and it is a unique, fast, healthy way of cooking. The whole system seals in the tenderness, and the flavor is retained. Wow. That's too cool. We also replaced that dreadful old fryer with a brand new Imperial jewel basket fryer. Look, you can see through the grease. <laughs> it's clean. You have a brand new prep area now that's chilled. Everything's working. It's all in one piece. It's all in one piece. <laughs> Put your hands in there. Feel that. That's what you call yeah. a refrigeration unit. It's the most amazing equipment I've ever seen. It's all so new and compact and clean. The river neighborhood is gone. <laughs> it's absolutely the most incredible day of my life right now. She's going to cry again. No, I'm trying not to. <laughs> it's OK. Those are good tears. You can let those out. It's beautiful. It's inspiring. I can't believe I you, haven't, can't wait. you haven't had anything new in this kitchen for how long? 33 years. <laughs> 33 years. That's way too long, let me tell you. Thank you That is so way much. too long. It's beautiful. With a clear indication that Randy and Alexa have seen the error of their ways, Chef Ramsay continues to push forward with his massive transformation, including a new sign. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Chef. Please take off your blindfolds. Oh! oh. Awesome. Great. So cool. There's something that was completely dated was that hideous sign. Now, are you ready for more change? Yes. Yes. Come on in to your new restaurant. Oh, my gosh, it smells oh so God. good. Wow. How beautiful oh is this? Oh, my God. Let's just start off with the booze first. Reupholstered with a stain resistant, stunning material. Does anybody notice the wheels have gone and the new chairs are here? I'm really glad they got rid of all the nasty chairs. I think it's going to be a great, fresh start for us, one we really needed. Please, come on down. Gone is that antiquated POS system, and we have replaced it with a state-of-the-art, brand-new, unique POS given to us by Dinoware. It's fabulous. It's incredible. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Old Neighborhood's menu was cluttered, much like the restaurant. Take a menu, please. So Chef Ramsay not only revamped the food, but also cut down the menu size dramatically, from 95 items to 20 stunning dishes. Right, visually, keeping with the decor, modern, Classic, fresh, and fun. I want you to jump in and start eating. Oh, I'm digging in. It's so much better than what we had. So delicious. The menu just went from four pages down to one, and the new food is amazing. It's not going back to four pages. That is so good. Now that this landmark restaurant has gone through massive changes in all areas. Welcome to the new old neighborhood. The doors open for the grand reopening. How are we doing this evening? And with a new system in place. Okay, we are ready. An energized Randy and Alexa 
work to get orders out to the diners. Okay, one cheese dip, get it started. Three poutines, one right away by itself, singled out. Guys, why am I coming down here making mac and cheese? I can't do everything. Only 30 minutes into service, Chef Ramsay realizes that although Alexa complains about the staff doing little... Watch out. Give it to him. Matt can play this up. She's doing almost no delegating. Alexa? Yes. Come around 30 seconds. I want to show you something very okay. important. Yeah. You're cooking and plating everything. Yep. There's three guys down. Okay. By the side, you've got to use them a little bit. Okay, All you're right. in charge. All right, I got okay, it. You're not the line Absolutely. cook. Absolutely, I do. You're the chef. No, right. Come on, you can do it. Absolutely, you got him helping me. Right here. Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's plate some of these things up. There you go. Spread the load. Yeah. Here we go. Mashed potatoes need the green beans. Let's put the uh, ketchup on it. Good. Nice and loud so they can hear you. Salt and pepper and the macaroni and cheese over here, please. Good. Keep it going, Lexi. With Chef Ramsay's advice still ringing in her ears, off you go. Alexa quickly finds her groove. Grab the fried chicken out. And now is running the kitchen, even impressing Chef Ramsay. Well done. Keep it going, yes. And the relaunch is a success. Cheese dip. Oh, oh my god, it's so good. It's perfect. It really is. It's a lot of flavor. The tartar sauce is good. It's like a completely new restaurant. It's it's incredible. <laughs> Well done. That's what I want to say to you all. This restaurant is back, it's beautiful, has a great menu, and overall, you should be proud of yourselves. Don't underestimate that. And Alexa, for the first time in a long time, you were not only the voice, but you held the reins in that kitchen. I kept it together, and I couldn't have gotten here without the help that I've gotten. Thanks very much. Okay. Appreciate it. Take care. Okay. I'm good. Thanks for everything. Cleaning that kitchen, okay? They'll burn less. <laughs> Thanks, Good night, Jeff. darling. Good job. Thank you. Well done. In the last 25 years, this restaurant went from being a town landmark to a filthy disaster. And I was seriously worried that these two owners would never change. Randy started to impress me when he let go of the past. But tonight, Alexa really stepped up and showed not only can she cook, but she can run a kitchen. And I don't think we've ever made a restaurant transformation as big as this one. Now, this may be called the old neighborhood, but trust me, it's a new restaurant back on the road to success. <sighs> Who is a mannequin as a friend? Rest in peace, Fiona. Wow. <laughs>